They are the ones who ultimately decide the next steps for some of Canada's top young athletes. 14 national sport organizations have partnered with RVC Training Ground in the search to find Canada's next Olympic hopefuls. I think it's a great opportunity to get exposure to athletes that we don't typically have the opportunity to see because they're involved in other sports, such as hockey. Athletes progress through those systems, but at the end, they drop out of sport. And so it's another way for us to make sure that athletes who have potential in high-performance sport stay involved. I think it helps engage athletes, youthful athletes. It's, it's incredible, inspirational and aspirational to be able to reach out to more athletes, to see more athletes, to get them excited about the sport. It just adds to the quality and, and the depth of the field that we can tap into. We are here because we believe in this program. We've had some pretty good success with athletes transferring late into our program. Some people will have heard of already. Cindy Klassen, Clara Hughes, Gilmore Junior are some good examples of that. Come on, let's go, team. Come on. If you're coming to an end in your sport, or it could be through injury, or are you you're just plateauing? That there's always a, a second option. Along with adding five new NSOs this year, the program also added events in Manitoba and Saskatchewan. One regional champion will be selected from the Winnipeg final. Coast to coast to coast to coast, we are huge. So adding that extra Prairies location, if you will, in Winnipeg with Saskatchewan, added us not only more touch, but just access to more athletes. So we're bringing the program to them. And so to have an opportunity like this here in Winnipeg and for an opportunity for Saskatchewan athletes to come as well, this is a huge deal. We're seeing a lot of grit, a lot of determination, and a lot of passion knowing that this is an opportunity for them. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, come on. After 100 young athletes were tested in Winnipeg, the winner was chosen. The winner of RBC Training Ground is Caden Johnson. I train at York University with Pierce as well, and when he won it for the first time, I was like, hey, what's RBC Training Ground? And then I saw how it turned his life around and all the opportunities he's been given through the program, and that's when I started to think seriously, hey, I could do this, and I'd like to follow that path as well. My end goal is to be an Olympian, so this is definitely a major stepping stone.